Smoke Alarm Tips, brought to you by the Sault Ste. Marie Fire Services. This week, we look at ionization versus photoelectric alarms. There's a couple of different principles that smoke alarms operate on. There's ionization detectors and there's photoelectric. And this is a, a typical ionization detector. It's very simple, a fairly economical unit, and it's probably one that's most commonly seen in a lot of our homes. Ionization smoke alarms uh, react quickly to fast flaming fires. So if we had an open fire, whether it be a pot in the stove or a trash can, the ionization technology will detect those fires um, a little quicker than other types. This one uh, we're showing here is the same device as what we showed you earlier, the same manufacturer, the same physical size and dimensions, but this is, operates on a photoelectric principle. And photoelectric technology is actually uh, a good choice when we're putting a smoke alarm on the floor that contains a kitchen. And the reason for that is because a photoelectric smoke alarm is less likely to activate for nuisance alarms that might be caused from uh, operations in the kitchen, whether it be making toast, maybe just opening the oven, even the shower can have a tendency to set off or create a nuisance alarm for ionization alarms. Photoelectric incorporate a light beam inside, um, much like a laser, and that laser beam has to be broken or interrupted by smoke particles in order for that detector to activate. And for that reason, photoelectric are less likely to activate for nuisance alarms. Also, if we do have a slow smoldering fire, might be one like uh, smoking materials in upholstery. Um, if we have something that's heating up, it's overheating and causing smoke, not actually flame, a photoelectric detector will activate sooner than an ionization detector in that case. So stay tuned in the coming weeks where we're going to uh, look at some various manufacturers, some various features of smoke alarms and uh, explain in detail some of those features to uh, help better make uh, choices for the various devices in, uh, in appropriate locations.